Earlier today on the RC Powers Forum, ConCon32 and Father and Sons and I were having a discussion about what I meant when I um, pre-stress the stabilizers on the F-22 with packing tape. I do that, uh, I did that with F-22 and F-18. Um, also, it works on the elevons too. It stiffens up the foam. The foam has a certain amount of flex. And then when you also have uh, Dollar Tree foam, like this stuff, it's extremely flexible. Um, it's great to use packing tape to reinforce it. So I usually use the Scotch, this is Scotch uh, Extreme Shipping Tape. It used to be called 3M Extreme. Uh, this stuff's $9 a roll, but it's excellent stuff. You cannot rip it. You need a knife to cut it, and even with the knife, it's tough. But this stuff will not rip. It'll pull off the foam before it ever rips. Um, so anyway, what I do is I take a piece of tape. And, oh, I forgot. Got to... You want to do all your edge beveling beforehand because once the tape is on you don't want to bevel the edges. So let me just do a quick edge beveling here on the front of the stabilizer. Okay, so now we have the beveled edge. You can sand it if you want to. Um, but what we'll do is put the packing tape on and lift up and bend the foam as you're putting the packing tape on. So what this will do is cause the foam to be stressed. You can see how it's bent in the one direction. And then you counter it on the other side. So you pull up on the other side just slightly. It may take a little bit of practice to get it to be totally straight. But now it's straight. And you've got this piece of tape pulling against this piece of tape. And especially with the extreme tape, um, it'll be very, very solid. Uh, you can also do it front to back. So, um, here I'll take, I'm using the packing tape just to demonstrate. But what I'll do is pre stress it, bend it front to back. Okay, so now we have a curvature here. And then finish it off on this side by stressing it this way okay and now it's straight front to back top to bottom everything is straight and then I always uh, finish it off with a little bit of packing tape on the front surface just for aerodynamics mainly and in case you hit a tree or something it'll keep that edge nice and sharp but here you have a reinforced stabilizer, much stronger than it would be without that. And it works great for the elevons also to keep the elevons from fluttering. Also with the elevons, um, use, if you have a lot of flutter at high speeds, using plastic hinges epoxied on will take all the play out of the joints. And that helps a little bit. But anyway, I hope that helped.